Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Code with Sunny. And in this video, we'll be talking about the problem of weekly contest three to five. Okay, so the problem that we are going to talk about is uh, maximum tastiness of candy basket. Okay, so without wasting our time, let's try to understand this problem. So you are given an array of positive integers price, where price of i denotes the price of the ith candy, and a positive integer k is given to you. The store sells baskets of k distinct candies. Okay, the tastiness of a candy basket is the smallest absolute difference of the prices of any two candies in the basket. Okay, so you need to pick up k distinct candies, and uh, you need to find out the smallest absolute difference of the prices of any two candies in the basket. So, and you need to return the maximum tastiness of a candy basket that you can have. Okay, so let's try to understand this problem in detail. So you have this uh, array. Uh, that goes of up to n minus one. That denotes the prices of the distinct candies. Okay, and ca and candies will be given to you. And also you are given the value of k, which you need to pick up the k distinct candies. Okay, now uh, when you pick up the k distinct candies, let's say you picked up uh, b zero, b one, b two, and it goes on something like this: b k minus one. Okay, so you need to find out the absolute value difference. For any two candies, like if you bring uh, B0, B2, or if you bring B0, uh, like B2 and B5, and all those candies, then your answer is going to be minimum of BI. Uh, let me write down ABS of absolute value of BI minus BJ for every value of i not equal to j. Okay, so this will be your answer. If you pick up the sum candies, this will be your answer. So let's try to understand this one with the help of an example. Suppose you have this one thirteen five one. Let me write down thirteen five one eight. Then we have twenty one, and then we have two. Okay, and we have the value of k as three. Okay, so when you try to pick up any three candies, suppose you picked up thirteen five and let's say two. Okay, so you would be having thirteen five and two. Okay, so uh, you need to find out the minimum of Absolute value difference between every pair of candies. So you will try to bring thirteen and five. Okay, so you will have the difference as eight. When you try to bring thirteen and two, you will be having the difference as eleven. And when you try to bring five and two, your uh, uh, difference is coming out to be three. So what is the minimum? It is coming out to be three. Okay. So you need to maximize the tastiness of a candy basket. Okay. You need to pick up the k distinct candies in such a way that Minimum of all the every pair of absolute difference between the candies is, should be maximized. Okay, so how you are going to do that? Okay, so the one of the ways uh, uh, for such type of problem. Remember the type of problem is you need to maximize the min value of something. Okay, and these type of problems is always going to be solved with the help of binary search. Okay. So, how the binary search is going to help you? Let's try to understand that. Before that, I will just try to explain that we need to first sort this array. Sort the array first. Okay. So, uh, why we are just trying to sort the array first? Because since we are in uh, having the absolute value difference between the two candies, if we are able to sort this one a0, a1, a2, then we'll always consider the Consecutive differences, which is always uh, uh, going to be the minimum one. Okay, so that's why we are trying to sort the array first. Okay, that is going to help you. Okay, so uh, we are using the concept of binary search. Let's say we have some mid, and that is coming out to be L plus R divided by two left bound plus right bound divided by two. Okay, then we will claim that mid is going to be our answer. Mid as our answer. Okay. So if mid is our answer, then we uh, we will try to pick up k distinct candies. Uh, okay, pick k distinct candies. Pick k distinct candies such that the minimum value, minimum value of uh, all pairs should be greater than or equal to mid. Uh, okay, so if you are able to pick k distinct candies in such a way that minimum value of every pairs is going to be greater than or equal to mid, it means that yes, we are having the suitable answer for all those. Like we are having the answers for all those particular mid, 
which are less than or equal to the current values okay so if you are able to do that then we can say like if this is possible so we'll say that yes answer can be mid and we'll just say l equal to mid plus one else r equal to mid minus one okay so uh, yeah so that is the going to be the condition so let's try to take an example and let's try to understand that so we have this same array so if we try to sort this array so let me write down first the array itself 13 5 1 and we have 8 21 and 2 8 21 and 2 13 5 1 8 21 and 2 if you sort this array sort then we will having 1 2 5 and then we will be having 8 13 and 21 okay so this is our actual array which is in the sorted form okay so when we have some mid which is coming out to be l plus r divide by 2 okay so let's say uh, answer is 8 let's say uh, i am at uh, 6 okay let's say some mid comes out to be 6 so we will try to pick pick k equal to 3 candies such that for every pair of picked candies bi and bj bi minus bj should be like the minimum value should be greater than or equal to 6 okay so how we will try to pick up that value so we will start with the very first value 1 okay and uh, can we pick up 2 over here no we cannot pick up because if we try to pick up so 1 minus 2 is coming out to be 1 absolute value is coming out to be 1 and it is not greater than or equal to 6 so we will not try to pick up 2 so we will try to pick up 5 so if we try to pick up 5 you can see uh, 1 minus 5 is coming out to be 4 absolute value is 4 which is not greater than or equal to 6 it means that picking 5 is also not optimal so we will try to pick up 8 so 8 minus 1 is coming out to be 7 which is greater than or equal to 6 it means that picking 8 is optimal so uh, we will try to pick up this 8 as well so we have already picked up 1 we have already picked up 8 and let's say we will try to pick up 13 now 8, uh, 8 and 13 will have the difference as 5 which is not greater than or equal to 6 it means that picking 30 is not optimal let's try to pick up 21 so 21 minus 8 is already greater than 6 so picking 21 is optimal so we have these three numbers okay 1 8 21 if you try to find out the minimum of any two pair of difference which is always going to be greater than or equal to 6 it means that we are able to pick k equal to 3 candies uh, with mid equal to 6 it means that for every value of uh, let's say for every value of x which is less than or equal to mid we will always be able to pick up three candies three or more candies okay so it means that we must go to l equal to mid plus one to maximize our answer else if we are not able to pick that we'll say r equal to mid minus one okay so uh, we'll go to the next greater value of mid so uh, we just check for seven we just check for eight and so on let's say we are checking for the 9 okay so let's say mid is coming out to be uh, 9 okay so we will start from 1 okay so we cannot pick 2 we cannot pick 5 because 5 minus 1 is not greater than or equal to 9 we cannot pick this one let's say we pick 13 13 minus 1 which is 12 which is greater than or equal to 9 okay so we picked 13 okay so uh, uh, we'll try to pick up another one let's say we picked up 21 so what is the difference between this 21 minus uh, 13 which is coming out to be 8 which is not greater than or equal to 9 so uh, we cannot pick 21 so the elements which are picked is 1 and 13 since we need to pick up three candies and we are able to pick up two candies so this value of mid is not suitable so for every value of x which is greater than mid uh, like uh, all the values will not give us the suitable number of candies which we require so we'll go to r equal to mid minus one in the binary search otherwise if you are able to pick up k distinct candies we'll go to l equal to mid plus one so that is the concept of the binary search so let's try to look out through the code how it can be done efficiently so we have n as prices dot size and we'll sort this array okay and we'll start from l0 and r1 e power 9 and answer equal to r which is going to be the maximum uh, maximum tastiness i have just written down over here you can initialize with l let it be answered as zero 
okay so we'll start the binary search and count of candies is one and our last picked candy is always the first candies okay and we have already picked up one candy okay we'll start with uh, all those candies from i equal to one and i goes up to n minus one if price of i minus last is greater than mid it means that yes i can pick up this candy so we'll just increment count of candies by one and our last candy is price of i if we are able to pick up at least k distinct candies we'll say yes our answer can be this one and we go to the higher value of mid otherwise we go to the lower value of mid and finally if everything goes well we'll return the answer so let's try to submit this code and check it out yeah you can see all the test cases have been passed so the time complexity is o of n log n because we are sorting this array also and space complexity comes out to be o of 1 so if you have any doubts you can reach out to me in the comment section of the video and thank you for watching this video